I'm Megan Edwards for Investment Pitch Media. Great Atlantic has received a permit for Phase 2 drilling at its Golden Promise Gold property. The Golden Promise property and nearby Southwest Golden property are located within the central Newfoundland Gold Belt. The permit allows for up to 25 diamond drill holes at the Jacklin Zone, specifically the Jacklin Main Zone and Jacklin North Zone, both of which host gold-bearing quartz vein systems. The Jacklin Zone is located within the northern region of the Golden Promise property and hosts five gold-bearing quartz vein systems, being the Jacklin Main, Jacklin North, Jacklin South, Jacklin East, and Jacklin West Zones. Plan 2020 drilling will test east of the Jacklin North Zone along its projected strike in some areas of quartz boulders containing high-grade gold and will include infill drill holes at the Jacklin Main Zone in an area of quartz veins containing high-grade gold. The Phase 2 drilling permit allows for a series of drill holes east of the Jacklin North Zone along its projected strike, including areas of quartz boulders containing high-grade gold. The Jacklin North Zone is located approximately 250 meters north of the Jacklin Main Zone. During 2017, Great Atlantic excavated high-grade quartz boulders in trenches east of the Jacklin North Zone along its projected strike. Assays of quartz boulder samples excavated during 2017 east of the Jacklin North Zone included 163.9, 208.5, and 332.6 grams per ton gold. The Phase 2 drilling permit allows for infill drill holes at the Jacklin Main Zone. This will include additional drill holes in the west area of the Jacklin Main Zone within the conceptual open pit area. This area of the Jacklin Main Zone was the focus of the company's 2019 Phase 1 drilling program, which consisted of 10 holes totaling 1,063 meters. Drill core samples from seven holes exceeded 10 grams per ton gold. Highlights of near-surface gold intersections from the 2019 program include hole 137 with 12.37 grams per ton gold over 1.9 meters, Hole 138 with 113.07 grams per ton gold over 0.55 meters. Hole 139 with 15.8 grams per ton gold over 2.7 meters. Hole 140 with 2.3 grams per ton gold over 25.25 meters includes five gold bearing veins. Hole 144 with 61.35 grams per ton gold over 2.04 meters and hole 145 with 14.49 grams per ton gold over 1.52 meters. In December 2018, Great Atlantic reported an NI43-101 mineral resource estimate for the Jacklin Main Zone. Based on the combined hypothetical mining and processing costs and the assumed price of gold, $1,300 U.S. at the time, a pit-constrained cutoff grade of 0.6 grams per ton was adopted. For the underground portion of the resource, a cutoff of 1.5 grams per ton was assumed. The cutoff grade for the total resource is the weighted average of the pit constrained and underground cutoff grades, resulting in a total inferred resource of 106,400 ounces capped and 119,900 ounces uncapped, using a weighted average cutoff of 1.1 grams per ton. Because part of the vein is near surface, the resource estimate was constrained by a conceptual open pit to demonstrate reasonable prospects of eventual economic extraction. All resources were classified as inferred because of the relatively wide spacing of drill holes through most of the zone. Both the Golden Promise and Southwest Golden Promise properties are located within the exploits subzone of the Newfoundland Dunnage Zone. Within the exploits subzone, the property lies along the north-northwestern fringe of the Victoria Lake Supergroup of Volcano Sedimentary Terrain. The northwestern margin of the Golden Promise property occurs proximal to and in part contiguous with a major Appalachian scale collisional boundary and suture zone known as the Red Indian Line. The Red Indian Line forms the western boundary of the exploit subzone. The Golden Promise Gold property hosts multiple gold bearing quartz veins and is located within a region of recent significant gold discoveries. Recent significant gold discoveries in this region of the exploit subzone include those of Sokoman Minerals Corp at the Moosehead Gold Project, 40 kilometers to the east, and Marathon Gold Corp at the Valentine Lake Gold Camp, 55 kilometers to the southwest. 
Viewers are warned that mineralization at the Moosehead property and Valentine Lake Gold Camp is not necessarily indicative of mineralization on the Golden Promise property. Great Atlantic, with a number of properties in the Atlantic provinces, is utilizing a project generation model with a special focus on critical elements which are prominent in Atlantic Canada, such as antimony, tungsten and gold. The shares are trading at 61 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, greatatlanticresources.com. Contact Christopher R. Anderson, President and CEO, at 604-488-3900 or email office at greatatlanticresources.com. I'm Megan Edwards for Investment Pitch Media.